video, I'm going to show you an example of how to find the area of the region bounded by two curves. So to do this, the first thing we want to do is to graph both of the functions. Our first function, f of x, is 2 minus x squared. So it's a parabola. Its leading coefficient is a coefficient in front of the highest degree term. So it's negative 1, and it, so that means that the parabola is going down and it has a vertex at 0, 2. So here I graphed the function f of x is equal to 2 minus x squared. Now the other function, g of x is equal to x, remember g of x is just another name for y, so that's just like y equal x. So that's just the line going through the origin with a slope of 1. Now here, there's no interval that's given to you. So the region that they're talking about here is the region that's caught between the curves that's enclosed. So these going off would not cause any enclosure of a region, nor over here. But in this particular portion of the graph, you'll see that that region is enclosed between the two graphs, and that's the one we're finding the area of. Now to do this, we want to think about how our sub-rectangles would go. If I hold my subrectangles vertically and I span from left to right, there's consistency of the f of x curve being on the top of the region and the g of x curve being on the bottom. So I have consistency of one function always being on the top and the other one on the bottom throughout that interval. If that weren't the case, I would have to just think of some other um, situations that might be. Sometimes we need to hold our subrectangles horizontally and scan from bottom to top to get consistency. This one, however, again, we have it if I hold them vertically across. Now my subrectangles being tall and thin mean that I'm doing dx, the differentials with respect to the x variable. So our region is going to be the definite integral of the function that's on the top of the interval throughout the region throughout the interval. So that's the parabola, that's the 2 minus x squared, minus the function that's on the bottom throughout the region. So that's the function x. And we're dxing it because we're holding our sub-rectangles vertical. Now I want to do that through the span of x's from the start of the region to the end of the region. With this graph, we can see that our start of the region is at an x value of negative 2, and our end of our region is at an x value of 1. So this is from negative 2 to 1. Now, if you weren't able to get that from your picture, you would want to find the points of intersection, and specifically the x-coordinates of the point of intersection. Since f of x is just another name for y, that function is y equal 2 minus x squared. And g of x is just another name for y for that function, y equal x. So to find the, the x values at the points of intersection, we're just going to substitute the expression in for its equivalent. So we can put x in for y, and then solve that equation. It's quadratic. We'll add the x squared and subtract the 2 from both sides to get it set equal to 0. And we factor this, that's x plus 2 times x minus 1. And we get the x values of x equal negative 2 and x equal 1, which we already found out. Okay, now we're going to use the fundamental theorem of calculus. We're going to find the antiderivative of the integrand. The antiderivative of 2 is 2x. The antiderivative of minus x squared, add 1 to the exponent and divide by that. That's minus 1 third x cubed. And then the antiderivative of x to the first, add 1 to the exponent and then divide by that. And we're going to evaluate that from an x value of negative 2 to an x value of 1. Now remember to evaluate that, we plug in the top number minus plug in the bottom number. So it's 2 times 1 minus 1 third times 1 cubed minus 1 half times 1 squared. 
and then subtract off from that, plugging in the negative 2. So 2 times negative 2 minus 1 third times negative 2 cubed, and then minus 1 half times negative 2 squared. And when you go through and do the whole process with that, figuring this out, you'll get an area of this region of 9 halves.